What is good everyone and welcome to the second episode of Little Hope Dark Pictures. Yeah, um it's currently Halloween and I just came home from a Halloween party and uh I baked some cookies so I'm letting them cool down a little bit. Cool down, cool down. Hold on. Mm. There's nothing like baked, freshly baked cookies, chocolate chip cookies, after a Halloween party. <laughs> Anyways, guys, in the last episode, we basically got introduced to these new characters, and... It seems like, uh, you know, it's two college professors and the rest are like students. Hold on, hold on. I need some water. No, not. Hold up real quick. Uh, anyways, and the rest are like, kind of like, uh, students and you know the bus driver crashed because they saw a like i don't know it was the little girl in the middle of the damn street out of nowhere and they crashed they crashed in the middle of the street so now they're stranded here in little hope town and uh they tried to escape but uh they couldn't leave the town so we're stranded here um Yeah, I'm tipsy. Okay. I I just came out of a Halloween I'm not party. Sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Yeah. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. She knows? What did you... What did you talk about? Did you blab about us? What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. But what did you tell her? What exactly did you tell her back there? Relax. I said nothing about us. About you? What about you guys? I'm not ready to go public about us yet. Oh. I will be soon. I promise. That they're... they're Anything dating? I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night, or we going inside? What the hell was that? Yo, playing this game like tipsy is no joke. Who is that Hi guy? There. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? <coughs> What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're I'm trapped here too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. 
I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Nah, I could use one. I'm not. I could definitely use one. Was that a bad decision? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just drinking. Drink I have right been now. drinking tonight, so. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm okay. Drinking's all I got left. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What happened here? What happened here? I want to know. The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Um, is there a phone here? There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. I bet you th there's anything phone. there's no, no phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. I highly doubt that. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. Is this really the time to play darts? <laughs> like, I would be just a quick throw. Looking for a way out. out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Mm, these cookies. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. <laughs> And I was better than Taylor. Either. Let's get back to why we came in here. Let's explore. Okay. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. A bell? Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. We're looking for a way out. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top up? What does that mean?
Heading into Little Hope feels like our only option. I'm not so sure about that. Where else can we go? I guess we're going into Little Hope. You know, there is no other way to go, so. Yo, it's Halloween night right now, and I just came home from a Halloween I have a bad party. I feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. So I'm feeling a little like, what is this? Is that, isn't that what's in the little, in the O of little hope? This little thing? What the hell is this thing? It's like a voodoo doll. Or I don't Looks know. Looks like some kind of effigy. Effigy? A warning, perhaps. What the hell is an effigy? Or some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than curious. enough. Curious. Thank you. Just walk away from that crap. Uh, didn't scare you, did I? I'm sorry, I, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. Uh, people believe in this. A lot they of people do. still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. Guess you're right. Cause for Guess all. you're right. Let's uh, catch up. I don't us. believe in I any of that any stuff. Any more time with this disgusting thing? Effigy. I don't even know what that is. I really don't. But let's keep going. Can you two make an effort to keep up? The only time I heard about an effigy is from Dark Souls 2. If you guys play that game, so you know what an effigy is. Although they didn't do a really good job. the hell was that um yeah they didn't really do a good job in dark souls 2 explaining what an effigy was but <laughs> little girl little freaking girl hey, why are you, you running around in the street What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. Yeah, I, I saw someone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Um, let, let's find the others. Okay. Let's go. We really should catch up with the others. If you don't believe me, then you there's too. nothing I can do for we you. We need to stick close. What the hell? What the hell was that? I don't know what that was, but it was awkward. It was like an awkward looking figure. Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Wait for us. What is that? Why you gotta sing that song? Hey. Come and check this out. 
That's like the creepiest song you could freaking sing. What on earth is that? Not a clue. It looks like a freaking voodoo doll. <gasps> what the hell? What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed <laughs> like that? Who the hell are you? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. What the hell is going on? Someone else out here by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl <laughs> dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say nothing because I don't know. I really don't. This girl could still be out there in the fog. <sighs> You're burning up. Did that girl do something to you? We should all keep an eye on Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Wait, now well, that I think about seems it... our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. She did burn her whole family alive. I forgot about that. Damn. Shouldn't have been drinking before this episode. Anyways, let me take a bite of this Well, that escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless... Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? 
Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be Duh. in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I knew the bus driver was suspicious. He's probably the key to this whole thing. At least the key to get out of here. Little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. There's a whole house here. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're it right. It doesn't sound like it's a small. <laughs> you see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Or with the deer. Hopefully. I mean, I saw a deer. Might get a better view from up there. Ghost towns of the northeast. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm way too tipsy to be reading all this. <laughs> sorry. Hold up, hold up. If you guys want to read this. Yeah. Y'all yeah, more than welcome to read that. All right. Um. <coughs> How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Yeah. I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? <sighs> Appreciate you checking in with me. Sometimes it's better just to say nothing, honestly. What the hell? Who are you? You just came out of the damn pond. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Just keep going. Just keep... What the hell? Why are you walking back? Let's go.
That was weird as hell. Like, it was just somebody in the pond, like, just staring at us. What's this? The Witch of Edomton, a play by W. M. Rowley, Thos Der performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School. Could this have something to do with what we saw? I don't know. It could be. I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I think both are worse, honestly. Yo, I just ate like four full freaking huge cookies right now. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling really fat right now. <laughs> like candy ain't got nothing on cookies. Oh, is that the little girl? Oh, she was over here. Hell no. Just keep going. Act like you didn't see anything. Just keep going. <laughs> That's what I would do. I feel like the more you pay attention to it, the more, you know, it will keep chasing after you. So if you just ignore it, just keep going. Act like you didn't see anything. They'll leave you alone. You know? Yeah. There's something up ahead. Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that. Hey, wait, stop. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? Who are you? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Be careful. All right, be careful. Be careful. <laughs> I ain't coming please. with you. Hell no. Nah. Be careful. Go. Hey, professor. Damn it. It's just like what happened to us. You think the professor will be okay? He's doing the right thing. Uh, not the time for heroics. Um. It's high time you stepped up. He's the one in charge. Finally, True. he's doing the right thing. I'm sure he'll be grateful for your concern. What is this? You should have gone, um... Say nothing. <laughs> I'm so horrible. I feel so useless. I so much have gone with him when we had the chance. Uh, I can't take anymore. I'm done with... Um, I'm done with holding everyone's I'm hand. I'm done with holding everyone's hand. John can take care of himself. You're a real piece of work sometimes, you know that? <laughs> I don't know why I chose that. I, I should have gone with him. About this. I should have gone with him. Damn, I didn't... I hope he don't die. 
Oh, he's good. He's good. There he is. We're good. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Wait, now now please stop. About You're it. scaring me. I am all done. That was the wife. That was the husband the in the fire. Let us go anywhere Remember? except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go. That was the Fuck sister. That. I'm trying another way. I didn't even realize this till now. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. Oh man. Uh I'm with Andrew. Yeah. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Shut out, Granny. Yeah. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. I don't know. I don't... I don't think it's a good idea for them to split, it up, split up like that. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. I don't know. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Bro, 12, 16 a.m. right now? What the hell? What time is it? It's like... Bro, it's like 1.30 in the morning right now. And I'm playing this. <laughs> oh, man. I just came out of that party and I'm still, like... Active. Like, I just want to play this. Why did they split up? Like, I don't know why they did that. Like, why? Hold up. You hear that? <laughs> oh, no, the teacher is out. He out. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Circle. X. Triangle. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks. I got these quick times. What's good? And what that do from the bar? Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What? what Who said that? that? Now what? Who says that you can figure that out for yourself? Like, really? Like, I'll slap the crap out of you for saying that. What is this? This blood? Uh, X of blood? Okay. is this I don't know but I don't want to find out honestly I don't want to know I seen some are you okay feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking I feel responsible for everyone here you are all in my care 
How would you handle all this in my position? Um, stay positive. Stop worrying about yourself. <laughs> um, stay positive. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Yeah, true. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Um, it's looking that way. I'm sure starting to look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Um... What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What do you mean it's nothing to worry about? What the hell? There's noises here. Like something is making these damn noises. Like what the hell do we do about it? <laughs> Are they chasing after us or what's up? What the hell is going on? I can't see camera angles. Um, hello. What the hell? What the hell is up? <laughs> Bruh, I cannot see anything. What the hell? That was weird as hell. Camera angles is acting up. Yo, why is the teacher so out every time <laughs> you guys scared he out? All right. Hold your breath. It was just a cat. It what was, is it? it was a What's cat. wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. First of all, this looks abandoned. Like, nobody's living here, honestly. Uh, modern magic and ritual. What the hell? I wouldn't even touch this thing. Put it down. What the hell? Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums. Like casting love spells on another person, so some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in half defense, um, in self defense. So, however, there are a number of questions the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desires you 
may experience disappointment and depression if your result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of... What the hell are you talking about? Shut up! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Just get me out of here. What the hell? <laughs> What is this? A box? <gasps> A gun? Oh shoot, there's four bullets in there. You all done with poking around? Let's catch up with John. I found a gun. Um, I think, uh, um, I should tell her. I found a gun. Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? I should never told her. Never mind. Shooting under the floor. I should never left told it her. There. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Guess you're right. I'm keeping it. I don't care what you say, lady. I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is one crazy night we're having. I mean, who knows? We could need this. What we don't need is to get someone killed. I'll be careful. I promise. I should have never told Men you something. Men and guns. Make sure the damn thing stays in your pants. I don't want to see it again. Obviously, she's like a teacher, so of course she's gonna be strict about it. But at the same time, it's like, yo, we're we're stranded in the middle of nowhere. Like, what is this? What the hell is that? Like, what is that stand for? Like, what the hell? It's like an evil omen or something. I don't know. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Professor? Oh, who's that? <gasps> Andrew here is packing. Damn, I should have never what? told you anything. A gun? Are you crazy? Uh, we need the gun. We don't know what's out there in the fog. Better to have the gun and not need it than need it and be defenseless. The likelihood of your getting shot goes up dramatically if you are carrying a weapon. Whatever. If the gun makes you feel safe, keep the damn thing. I really don't care anymore. I should have never told that stupid little... Whoever she is, a teacher, a student, I don't know what the hell she is, but she never told her. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. All right, maybe a brick. Or a rock. What's this? A rock. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? <laughs> Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Ah. 
piece of cake. You're up next. Oh man. Alright, so now we're playing as the other crew, I guess. Um well either way that's all I had time for in this episode of Little Hope. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next episode where I'll be sober enough to make the right decisions. <laughs> so don't judge me on this episode. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.